Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In our previous video, we discussed media by location, covering media in library and export media. In this video, we will be discussing media by groups. Please like, share, comment or suggest, subscribe for more videos and you can follow us on Instagram. Under media by groups, we have default scratch, cleaning media, retired media, override protect media, foreign media, catalog media, and assigned media. Let's start with the available shortcut menu options for media by groups. Right click on media by groups, new media group. From here, we can create new user defined groups for these four media groups. Add to favorites is to add media by group to my favorites. Let's start with default scratch. A scratch pool is a repository of media that are available for use. Every library has a default scratch pool which is created when the library is configured. When a backup or aux copy operation requires new media, the system takes one from a scratch pool. From here, you can view the media properties such as the media status which could be either spare media age and media or both media barcode location where media resides that is if the media is inside the library the storage slot location is displayed if the media is outside of the library the location appears if the media is assigned to a container, then you see the container name. Click on Summary tab. Here you can get the overview such as total media of which how many are inside library and outside library. You can also view the media type along with low watermark set. We'll discuss the watermark in some time. Let's check the available shortcut menu options for default scratch. Right click on default scratch. Import media. Importing is the process by which you move media that are outside a library into storage slots within the library. Before you select the options, keep these points in consideration. Ideally, all the newly imported media will be automatically moved to the default scratch pool. If the enable auto discover media into default scratch pool option is enabled in the tape library properties. As the message says, after the new media has been inserted into the library, click continue. When a media is imported, the system assigns it in one of these ways. The next option is move media. Use the move media option to move the media to another scratch pool. The note says that if you want to move media from one scratch pool to another, the library must contain at least two scratch pools. We will try this option later when we create a new scratch pool. This is the default and only scratch pool we have in the library. Hence, we see the delete option grayed out. But when we have more than one scratch pool, then you will see this option available. Add to favorites, you already know. Select properties. Spare group properties window. General tab. Group name is the name of the spare group. The name of the library to which the spare group is attached. The number of media that are currently available in the spare group. 
Priority specifies the priority of the media group. When new media is imported or when existing media is recycled, the system will always assign media to media groups with the priority set to high until the watermark limit is reached before assigning media to medium or low priority media groups. Watermark for spare media in the pool. Low specify the minimum number of media that should be available inside the library for the spare group at all times if the number of available media falls below the specified amount the system generates an event message and generates insufficient storage alert if the alert is configured high specify the maximum number of media in the spare group the high watermark is used as a reference to discover new media in the group automatically if the auto discovery options are enabled in the library properties limit 2 limits the maximum number of media in the spare group for the value you set unlimited specifies that there is no maximum limit to the number of media in the spare group please note watermark is not applicable for standalone drives spare media selection criteria use most reused media first this option specifies that the most recycled media is used first when a job requires a media and that there is recycled media available in the scratch pool we recommend to configure this option for use use least reused media first specifies that the least recycled media or new media is used first when a job requires a media and that there is new media is available in the scratch pool use media based on capacity specifies whether you want to use and fill the lower capacity media first or the higher capacity media first media type specifies the default media type for the spare media group barcode patterns from here you can add or remove the barcode patterns that must be used to automatically discover media in the library available pattern lists the barcode patterns added in the console the barcode patterns for a console can be added from the media management barcode patterns tab selected patterns lists the barcode patterns that must be used to identify media in the library use these buttons to add remove the barcode patterns to the selected patterns list let's create a new scratch pool right click on media by groups hover over new media group select spare media group new media group window as we have discussed all these options we quickly name the group select the options needed and create the new scratch pool the new netapp scratch pool is successfully created as you see there are no media assigned to this pool let's move some tapes from default scratch pool right click on default scratch pool select move media move media window from number of media to be moved enter or select the number of media that you want to reassign from the default scratch pool to this netapp scratch pool destination scratch pool lists the available scratch pools within the library choose a scratch pool from the list in our case it is netapp once done click ok we see the moved media are seen and available in the new scratch pool you can create any number of additional scratch pools and assign these to different storage policy copies that access the library you can also designate a user defined scratch pool as the default for the library 
Let's check the available shortcut menu options for this new NetApps group. Right click on the NetApps scratch pool. All the options are same as we discussed before. Let's delete the scratch pool. On the confirm delete window, if you are sure to remove it, then select yes. The newly created NetApp scratch pool is successfully deleted. The media that were part of the new scratch pool are automatically moved and assigned to default scratch pool. We will end this video here. In our next video, we will cover other media groups. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos if not already done so. Thank you. Do subscribe for more videos.